the Home on the Range mural is the story of Costa Mesa. It depicts all the different errors in Costa Mesa, which um, and Costa Mesa is very involved in the arts and history. And this mural that mom put together depicts all of the different times and people. And it's a very fun mural. There was an article in the paper that said they were looking for someone to restore this painting and my neighbors and family members brought the paper over to me and said, Becky, what, what is this all about? Why aren't you, you know, doing your mom's mural? So I called them and said, you know, I hear you're trying to hire someone to do this mural. I would like to do it. And I had to go through the interview process just like everyone else. They asked me, why do I think I should be doing this job? And I said, well, who else knows <laughs> how my mom painted and what was behind her thoughts while she was doing it? And of course, then I started crying. <laughs> My approach to doing this was probably not what a restoration company would do because I was doing this for my mom. A lot of people would think it's kind of like paint by number, you're just fixing up what she's got, but you can't do that because of the different layers that you want. And so I had called on my sister Brenda who helped with my mother. She was able to help for a couple of weeks and then she had to go back home. And so I called on my friends who I knew, knew my mom and the artists, and just said, if you guys got any time, come down and help me out with this. And they just open arm came and helped. So, and we all worked together equally on this. Mom was with us through the whole thing, we know. hours and hours and weeks and weeks and weeks. For the most part, as you can tell, in this shaded area, <laughs> it was an extremely pleasant experience. A lot of people driving by and walking by would say, thank you, it looks great, and it, it, you know all the encouragement. Overall, this was a wonderful experience. I grew up very close to Becky, the same neighborhood on the east side, Costa Mesa. So I've known her, I've decorated homes for her Christmas with her, for our various jobs decorating. I now live here on the west side with my family, my husband and two daughters. So it was really neat to be able to bring this back to life. The scenes that they portray, the first scene is the Native Americans with their uh, huts. There's a um, woman, she's a uh, doing a basket and then there is a man hunting with a bow and arrow and he has his camouflage which is a, uh, a deer skin that he puts over his back, you know, that's a camouflage. So he's like looking for his kill. <laughs> and then every image is broken up by a big tree. Lots of native trees, that was really fun to paint here specifically where you're surrounded by the native trees that she really wanted to be the most important part of this. I actually came down to this park and Fairview Park and took pictures of all of the hugest trees that I could see thinking they have to be the ones that are in the picture so that we could paint what we believed each tree was. And so the second image is of the adobe in the beginning. And this one was also very, very faded, so we wanted to make sure that the Spanish tile work and the brickwork of the original building really shone through. At some points, we couldn't even tell what it was, and we had to go back and use my mom's notes and her pictures that she took as a finished picture. But our problem was that my mom's pictures were faded too, because she did them on one of those little automatic um, 
filmmakers when they first came out, the little pictures. We really had to end up going back to her original, original line drawing, which is about 20 feet long, and it's all line drawing. And uh, that told us exactly what everything was. image is of a farmhouse in Costa Mesa with the goats in the background, kind of goat hill, <laughs> and it, uh, it's, it's got a lot of the animals. Squirrels, um, obviously all the sh uh, sheep, more squirrels. We even have a beautiful butterfly over here, and bunnies hiding in the bushes. They're all tucked in and the kids can come over and do a little game of you know how many how many animals can you find in this painting many people loved my mom and knew my mom and we did this out of a labor of love and it was uh, very rewarding for all of us I was uh, honored to be part of this refurbishing Peggy Gardner's mural. Um, known Peggy for several years. I've lived here all my life. I went to elementary school over on uh, Whittier. My family's raised here, so Goat Hill is it's in our blood here. So I used to drive by this all the time and saying it's so faded. And then when I found out that they wanted to make it come to life again, I contacted Becky. I said, you need to contact the city to see what's going on with that. So it worked out great. And then we move into Fairview Park, which is the longest space because it shows Placentia and the black bridge that goes over it and the park and then the last image is of the train station. The last two kind of meld together into one great big one. Right here, we basically started uh, with the backgrounds, and I am probably the only one out of this group that does not have an artistic background whatsoever. In fact, I'm an accountant by trade. <laughs> so they had to give me things that I wouldn't go a little, you know, overboard on. So I did all of the base greens and tree greens and worked down here, and Brenda started a lot of the flowers. And the history of the flowers, the big floppy daisies, is Peggy had children come out who were involved in the after-school city program, and she let them paint the daisies. So we wanted to keep with that theme of fun, big floppy daisies. So you'll see some of them were different. It just really kind of depended on who was out there that day helping her paint. One of the other trademarks for Peggy was that she always, in every painting, she had three birds in the sky, right here. This was a family gathering of all of us to come and it was very therapeutic. It's a memorial to Peggy Gardner, it really and truly is. The people that made this mural happen are so important to me and to mom. Words can't thank them enough. No one could pay them enough. Not that everybody was a volunteer, including myself. I mean, we were paid for, for supplies. But I, I mean, originally I told them I don't want, I just want to do this. This is my mom's mural. My part of the mural was mostly the background, the sky, um, the, the grassy areas, and some of the trees. And there was like a, a plantation of a cornfield, and I did that. 
I knew Becky a long time ago. She lives down the street from me, a couple of blocks, but we met at church. We became instant friends. We both belong to the Environment Committee, which is the committee that takes the decorations of the church for special occasions. So I have seen the mural before and just passing by and one time I stopped to see it because Becky told me her mother did it. And then when she told me that the mural was going to be restored, she asked me if I could be part of it and I said, gladly. They were there when it was cold, when it was hot, when the bugs were biting us. <laughs> it was fun, it was zen for all of us. And it was also fun because we were right at the fire station and the fire station, two captains came out to talk to us and thank us for what we were doing. In fact, one of the captains told us that they lovingly called the mural the Wiley Coyote mural. So we painted a little cartoon at the end of Wiley Coyote and said for station number four. I think it was because of the, the road that's in the middle of it. It looks like the cartoon. Tonight we have a very special certificate of appreciation to present for Miss Becky Feltman and she also had a handful of um, volunteer team members that helped her along the way. I was painting with my mom, which when I do paint I know my mom is with me. I could hear her in my heart and in my head giving me instructions. and. It was so rewarding having the people that I care about and love and who loved my mom just as much, giving their time and artistic ability to this project. It was just uh, very rewarding for all of us.